this is, um, I'm going to try really quickly to go over the different parts of the sheep eye. As you can see, it looks like a meatball. Oh, not anymore though. There is the cornea. That dark part right there is the cornea. The white part um, is the sclera. The yellowy substance is adipose tissue, whereas the pinkish substance are the extrinsic eye muscles. All right, I'm going to pause and clean this up and then come back. Okay, I decided to, um, to show you some of the technique here. The sclera, which is the white part, doesn't look very white, but it is very tough. So for this dissection, being too careful will make you take forever. By the way, that's a rectus muscle. Um, it looks to me to be the inferior rectus muscle. Goodbye. Um, now I'm going to use my fingers and just kind of squeeze until I can feel something hard, and I feel it. It's right in the center there, and that is going to be the optic nerve. So I'm going to try to avoid getting that. I can feel it in there because it's, it's harder than the other tissue. But even if I were to cut it off, it wouldn't matter because I would still be able to see the nubbin of it, if that's a word. I'm not sure if nubbin is a word, but I don't really care. I'm going to use it. All right. So... I'm doing in two minutes what usually takes, I don't know, maybe ten for students. Oh, look, there's the optic nerve right there. So I just totally butchered it. Oh, well, there wasn't much of it. There's just a tiny bit. That was the part that, oops. Well, how long has that been blurry? Whoa. There we go. Well, hopefully it hasn't been blurry the whole time. I can't see because the screen's behind me. All right, so now I'm going to just go ahead and clip off all this junk because I don't have to worry about the optic nerve anymore. All right, now I'll probably want you to clean it up a little bit better than that, but it's 6.05 and I have to pick up my groceries. So um, at this point, what you can see is the cornea, the sclera, and that white nubby thing right there. Oh, you can yeah, you can. This thing right here, which is the optic nerve. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and open it up. I bet y'all want me to squirt myself, don't you? That'd be pretty funny. I'm sure I told you about the year where the girl she like did this, y'all, yeah. and it like literally squirted her in the mouth, in the face. All right, so now I'm just going to be cutting around. If you see any liquid leaking out, it's probably either preservative, well, it's a mixture of the preservative fluid and the aqueous humor. And the reason there's like black flakes is because of all of the black pigment in the eye. Um, you want the eye to be as dark as possible. Uh, in most cases now, in, in the case of the sheep, it's going to have a streak of um, beautiful, brilliant blue so that it can see in the dark a little bit better. All right, so I'm almost done here. All right, now. Okay, nope. Okay, I love those scissors. So now I have both sides here. Oh, it looks delicious. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. All right, so this is the back of the eye and that gel stuff, woo, ooh, <laughs> I didn't mean for it to fall out, but it did. That is vitreous humor. And it came from the vitreous chamber, which is everything behind the lens all the way to the back of the eye. Now let me start with the back of the eye because it's relatively simple here. All right, so this is the posterior vitreous cha chamber. The uh, sensory layer of this is the retina. There is, if you see that little, there's this kind of yuck colored beige covering. See how blue that is? And then you see the yuck color on it? That yuck color is the retina. 
Now if you look real carefully, you can see all these like foldings and they all bunch together right there. That is the um, optic disc, which is the blind spot. And it leads to, ta-da, the optic nerve, go figure. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is move the retina carefully because the choroid coat will mess up. And I'm just gonna kind of sweep it out of the way. It won't come out because, unless I make it come out because it's stuck right there at the optic disc. But now you can see this really cool stuff in the back. All right, now the whole thing is the choroid coat, but in the case of this dissection, we don't have this brilliant color because we don't have nocturnal vi vision. But the choroid coat, the pigmented choroid coat, is the black substance. And it, it peels just like an onion. See, look at that. It's kind of weird. All right, that's the pigmented choroid coat. This beautiful streak right here is called the tapetum lucidum. Tapetum lucidum. And since sheep are not predators, they're prey, they, all of their predators are nocturnal. So they need to be able to see in the dark. Um, to see predators coming. All right, now what's interesting, so I'm gonna just, that's it for this side. Now we're gonna go over to this side. And that round thing is the lens. Um, and it's hard, There's, it's just hard all the way through. I'm gonna just kind of like force it to come out by turning the eye inside out. <laughs> Ew. All right, come on, get off, buddy. Now the reason I wanted to take it off like that is because I wanted you to be able to see the suspensory ligaments and ciliary body. Okay, so that's the lens. It's got some vitreous humor stuck around it, but you can see that black stuff. That black stuff is um, their suspensory ligaments. That's what's holding the, um, the lens in place here. It's also ciliary bodies or ciliary, ciliary muscles. Some of the muscles are still going to be on the um, eye here, but it's since they're all black, it's easier to see it over here on the edges of the, um, the lens. So the ciliary body and muscles, they make the aqueous humor, but the aqueous humor isn't easy to distinguish. The vitreous humor is because it's jello. But Okay, so that's the lens. If you were to cut it in half, it would be like a, I don't know, somebody said a Skittle today, except it would be like a totally nasty sheet Skittle. All right, now, this right here is the inside of the eye, and if you see that open spot right there, that is the pupil. And it's, it's not round for sheep. It's um, horizontal, and I wish you could see it better than that. But it's horizontal because sheep don't need to look up into the sky for any reason whatsoever. There's nothing up there for them to look at. There's not any kind of predators. They can't go on airplanes. Um, it's just no reason for them to look up. So their vision is very horizontally based. Um, and if you look at them, their eyes are kind of on the, they're, um, on the sides of their head. All right, now you can barely make out because of the quality of the video, but there are these little indentations. I'm not really sure what to call them. Um, well, if you've done this, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, this is the back of the iris, the back of the iris. And there's the pupil, and here's the cornea again. Now I'm going to actually take the iris out which I, I try to do with my students, but sometimes it's not tough enough. But if you carefully do it, it'll just peel away. And so what's so interesting about the eyes is that it's like they're in layers, like an onion or something. All right, so now you can see into that sheep's beautiful brown dead eyes. And there's the cornea. All right. So that concludes our um, journey into the eye of a poor little sheep. There. All right. Hope that helps you guys. Bye.